And ladies and gentlemen, your next act, Anthony Stock. How's it go? Hey, hey, everybody, how's it going? See, you know, the other day, I'm sitting down in my nice red burgundy leather sofa thing. I don't know what you want to call it, couch, yeah. And, and I was sitting down, and I'm watching this TV with my little sister sitting right here. And we're all just sitting there, and all of a sudden, there comes this weird commercial for the new Bengal pirate toy. And I'm like, man, that would be awesome when I was a kid. And the next commercial, some Batman toy, I'm like, hey, that'd be cool to play with this kid. And there's all these new, weird, crazy toys with all these sounds and these buttons, and you press, and he goes, woo, woo. And you just, I remember when I was a kid, you took these little cars, and you had a nice little road played out for you, and you show around, like, beep, beep, all by yourself. Everything was up to your imagination, okay? It was like Sesame Street in your own living room. You just drove it around, and everything worked out fine for you. But now, kids can't even imagine enough that they need all these little buttons to press and all these little sounds to make because they can't make the sounds themselves. See, like, you get a Darth Vader figure, a giant one or something, you know? They have these, like, masks now, so you can't even walk around going, I am your father. You, uh, you have to have this own mask to do it, so it does it perfectly. I mean, the imagination, throw that out the window, you don't even need it anymore. All of you have all these toys that are built so that you don't have to think anymore. And also, when I'm seeing these commercials, I'm thinking I'm old. Because I'm watching these commercials, and I'm thinking, man, if I was, when I was a kid, and I'm sounding like some 90-year-old old dude walking around going, when I was a young boy, I walked five miles to the nearest school in the snow, uphill. And then when I came back, it was still uphill. And it was just... <laughs> and it was just I felt old personally I couldn't help it I felt like some weird old guy that's just looking at all these toys saying oh if I was a kid and see when I was a kid it wasn't even that long ago I'm not even that old I'm 15 and I'm still thinking that the past was a lot simpler than right now and also now another problem is Whenever you're outside, you know, like me and my friends the other day, we were outside in the backyard shooting each other with these um, airsoft guns, you know. And we were like, after we got done, what happened was some old dude from my, my neighbor, I guess, looks out of the windows and he's like, You kids better not make a bunch of noise, we're calling cops on you. And I'm like, Okay. I didn't really care, but I'm just like, Oh God, crazy old guy, stupid little kids. I mean, seriously, what's the big deal about a little noise? You can't sleep well? Like, what's that, what happened to old people where just a little noise keeps you from being able to sleep? I mean, like, you could creak on a little board and an old person somewhere the whole way across the world would be like, Bulls up! And he just, he would jump up and he would run out the door trying to figure out where this came from. And you'd be sitting there miles away, and he comes up and he's like, What the heck are you doing? And you'd be like, Who the fuck are you? And it's just, I don't understand it anymore. <laughs> because when you're old, everything, you're just so senile. I mean, you're, you could be at the home, and your grandson comes in, and you're like, Hey, little Billy? And he's like, I'm Fred. And you're like, Yeah, whatever, get the hell out of here. Give me fifteen dollars on his birthday every year, and that's all that he cares about. I mean, oh, that's another thing. Grandma's always given little checks for fifteen dollars on your birthday. They can't afford anything else. They give you fifteen dollars. What the fuck am I gonna buy with fifteen dollars? I mean, seriously, I go out in the store. You can't even buy a movie for fifteen dollars. You might be able to find a CD for fifteen dollars, maybe not a good one, but you'll find one. I mean, there's nothing worthwhile buying for $15. It's like, what kind of birthday present is that? $15, Grandma? Come on, you can do better than that. I mean, I know you. See, Grandpa, he got run over by the fucking Walmart truck. So he's fucking rich. And all you can do is give me $15 every fucking year, Grandma. Come on. Okay, cut me some slack. Give me 100 and I can go crazy, okay? You feel me? You feel me? Do you even hear me? What? My hearing aid was off. 
start slapping her silly. You'd be like, right off. <coughs> but you can't do that because then you slap her and then her jaw flies out out of your ear. And you gotta pick all that mess up. And you gotta call the ambulance. The ambulance comes in and is like, what did you do? And they're like, I slapped my grandma. And she, you, they walk in and there's just a little pile of bones and an old gray wig, curly wig sitting on the floor with like these little reading glasses with a long curly string on. Man, she's horrible. And I'm like, what's horrible? I slapped my grandma, so what? And they're like, she's old. Well, she's cheap. <laughs> I mean, what the fuck do you have to do to get just a little bit of money from grandma? More than just $15 every year. I mean, I'm sure grandma could do better than that. Okay, everybody. Good night. Thanks. Goodbye. You were great. I love y'all. And that was Anthony Stark. <laughs>